And welcome back to the long run where we are playing the longest journey. So last time uh, we got ourselves into all kinds of trouble as provided that anyone finds out that we did it. Uh, just to get this guy, Burns Flipper, to uh, decode some information for us that has to do with Vanguard and also get us a, um, a fake ID. Now that fake ID is going to take at least a day and a half. So um, right now I am not entirely sure what to do, but um, I'm guessing the move is pretty much just go home. So let's do that. Eventually. <laughs> I know, right? It's going to be great when I have to, you know, when I realize that I was missing something and I have to run all the way back here. Oh boy. Here we are in the nice part of town again. It's called the longest journey for a reason. They're probably gonna have marathon legs after this is over. Why the door just open like that? Well, I'm guessing this is not where I, I need to make to my be. bed. It's been too hot to sleep with a cover. You're around, Charlie. Nobody home. Damn. I'm sure as hell not knocking on Zach's door, because screw that guy. Actually, this game swears. Fuck that guy. That was a nice little sit, I guess. It would be great to take a few hours out just to sit here and watch life pass by. But, duty calls. Uh, let's go to the cafe, maybe? to say it oh okay hate to say it so I won't all right so obviously I'm uh, barking up the wrong tree here the fringe cafe my home away from home rusty Sure is. The Fringe Cafe. I hate to say it, dead silence. Uh, I'm hoping that I didn't have to talk to Flipper again.
No flipper again, just to save you time. Okay. Do we have time now? Not today. Apparently not. I'll just leave my brush and easel. Yes, yes. I like how she just does the spinny all the time. Not today, then when, April? When? So that was pretty much a cursory glance of the entirety of East Venice, and apparently there is nothing to do here. It's time for school when there's a world to save. Hashtag anime. Yes, that's right. Worlds plural. Or, or you can just go full Lex and be like the two universes. Um... You know what this, uh, like, there's a song that this reminds me of. I don't know the name of the song. It's, you know, from a video game soundtrack. But, um, it's from Saga Frontier. Is the one that plays when you're in the city. And that's the one that's kind of going through my head right now. Um... Can't use the elevators yet. Not until we get that idea. Metro Circle. Metro Circle. I was hoping to... I was wondering if I could click on that car. Okay, um... Sorry to say this, I think I need more guidance. Because, like, at this point, it's just literally, we have to wait for the ID. Upstream. I don't even know where Cortez is right now. Staring up support for their ideas, oh, and Arcadians, those 
easily misled sheep. They embrace these ideas because they prophesize change, and change is always attractive to humans. Not only humans, the vanguard are using a tyrant to force their changes into effect. They say the tyrant have turned to religion, that they have... Ah, the tyrant! Those beasts are not much for loyalty, but promise them money and power. The Vanguard are probably ready to offer them half of the Northlands, perhaps even Mercuria itself for their services. And they have certainly wanted to put their filthy claws on that city for as long as I can remember. Yes, it's beginning to look quite bleak. What about the girl? I think she may have seen the light, finally. She does not know even half of what is going on, and if she did, I do not think she would be able to handle it. Better she does not know. Hmm. Aren't you worried that the fate of the balance in our worlds is in the hands of a... a child? A simple country girl? Of course. I do my best to help her, as does the mother in her way. Still, April will be on her own soon enough, and then... Who knows? After all, she is the one. No one seems to doubt that. The balance knows, and the balance provides. And if the balance believes in this girl, we should as well. Spoken as a man of true faith. But of course, Father. You're not the only one who places his faith in higher powers. Speaking of higher powers, I have to go prepare my sermon for tonight. And what lessons will be taught today? You know the usual. Sacrifice, devotion, faith. The cornerstones of any religion. Even the vanguard seem to follow these tenets. They require devotion through faith just as much as we do. Good night, Raul. Que Dios te bendiga. So I didn't get part of that because there's some assholes in the parking lot being assholes. But I did get the part of like, there's still a lot that we don't know. It's beautiful in here, don't you think? So quiet, so spiritual. See, I'm no Catholic, but I still like coming here to meditate, to pray if you want. If you're not a Catholic, who do you pray to? To the universe. To the balance. To the rock in this floor and, and the air around us. To you and, and to myself. What is that, Buddhism? It's life, senorita. Pure and simple. So, what did you dig up today? Oh, nothing. Except for everything you ever wanted to know about the Vanguard and Jacob McAllen. You got the information? You found Warren? He helped you? Eventually. It wasn't easy. But I know where to find McAllen, and I'm working on how to get there. I should be all set by tomorrow. Good news. And just in time, too. Things are not going well out there. What do you mean? The balance is collapsing. And magic is seeping through into this world. Stark is still protected by its strong currents of logic and order, but Arcadia is on the brink of war and utter chaos. Unless we act quickly, Arcadia will fall into disorder, and Stark will follow. Can't we get help? Everyone with the power and will to help is doing so. But you are so much more important than anyone else. You can travel to Arcadia to bring order to chaos. At least until we find the Guardian and return him to his realm. What about the Vanguard? We investigate your lead tomorrow, yes? If we find what we are looking for... If they have the Guardian or know where he is, then we are one step closer to victory. But we still need to find the entrance to his realm. And the situation in Arcadia is not getting any better, not without your help. I don't know anything. What can I do? By just being there, you are helping. You are strong in the balance, April. And your power flows into those you meet and helps them against the tides of chaos. Whatever you do, however you do it, you are helping. I still feel so... so helpless. I don't understand half of what you tell me, and as for the other half, I can't help being skeptical. Good. Do not trust everyone or everything, and make a stand against that which you do not believe. 
Just be sure to accept the truth when you find it, and embrace the good in the world. I'll do my best. What are we going to do now? Tomorrow, we will visit with McAllen, find what he knows and use it. Then the day after, you will go back to Arcadia. At most, we have a week. But it should be enough. As for today, relax. Be with your friends. I don't think I'll ever be able to relax again. We pay a heavy price for our knowledge, yes. But try to enjoy yourself, because the hard work begins in the morning. I will see you then, yes? Wait, wait! Where are you going to be this time? We will meet here, yes? I'm afraid I cannot go back to Venice. Not now. There are... people looking for me. The Vanguard? Yes. They know what I am, who I am. They will not rest until they have me. So we must work very fast to destroy them. Tomorrow, then? Tomorrow. Have a good night, okay? Be careful. Thank you, senorita. And you. I'm just glad we don't have to solve a puzzle to figure out where he's going to be tomorrow. All right, it is now time to return to the border house. I mean, I wouldn't put it past the game, Zero. I guess I didn't have to come through the park, but uh, whatever. The important thing is that we get where we're going. Man, those guys are in trouble. Don't they know that skateboarding is strictly prohibited in Newport? It's, uh, it's a very, um... Very serious crime, you see. Because it expresses freedom. Just casually points the gun at him. It's our screen. It's supposed to be a coffee table. It's a chair. They really knew how to design tacky furniture back in the late 22nd century. It's a chair. Shelves. That's some good relaxing we're doing. Hey, oh boy. What are you doing? That's Zach's room. I've never been in there and I pray I never will. I don't know, but the fact that he was just outside of our apartment makes me think that we're going to have to go in there. Hello. Charlie? Emma? What are you guys doing here? We locked ourselves in to wait for you. I hope you don't mind. No, of course not. By the way, I think Zack was spying on you guys. I caught him leaning up against the door, and he hurried back into his room the second I arrived. He's such a loser. And he seems to have a personal vendetta against you now after what you did to him. Or what he claims you did last night. Gotta love the guy. So what's up? What's the occasion? We want to know what's going on with you, April. What do you mean? Nothing's going on. Don't lie to your best friends. That's way below you. We know something's going on. There's no point denying it. For three days straight, you've been away all day, you've been acting weird and hanging around Cortez, of all people. And then today we find out you've been up to Metro Circle by yourself? I mean, April, for God's sake, what is going on? Hey, you found that out how? I've been doing some research for my painting. That's all? Then why go to Metro Circle? I thought you were going for something a little more pastoral. 
I haven't made a lot of progress this far, so any inspiration is good inspiration. And whatever you think of Metro Circle, on some level, at least, it's quite inspiring. If that's all it is, if that's all you say it is, then I believe you. You've never lied to me, girl, and I don't think you ever would. Uh... There's something else you going on, but you wouldn't believe it if I told you. Try us. We're your friends. We're here to help you. That's what friends are for. I'm sorry, but I really can't tell you guys anything. Okay, fine. If you're not gonna open up to us, we're not gonna try forcing you to. And don't think we'll stop being your friends or something just because of this. We'd just like to see you open up, April. If you have a change of heart, tell us. You can knock on my door or Charlie's anytime you need to, okay? I don't even know We're where We're all hanging going out is. at the cafe tomorrow night, April, so you're just gonna have to join us. I promise. Now get some sleep. Sorry to tell you this, but you look totally exhausted. I'm glad we had this talk. Thanks for checking up on me, guys. Sure. Good night. Good night, Charlie. Good night, girl. Sweet dreams. You know, I just kind of spent the morning selling maps in some magical dimension and then spent the afternoon breaking into the police station and trying to get a fake ID from some weirdo. You're having some difficulty getting in that bed there, April. <laughs> well, I guess we're not going to meet up with Charlie. What's that noise? Oh boy, are we going to Narnia? Where's that light coming from? Well, that's, uh, that sure is a way to start a, a chapter. Oh, not again. Not now. <sighs> I hope this is a dream. I really do, because if Cortez didn't open a shift, who did? And how will I get home again on my own? Well, we have the watch. No dream, and I'm guessing this is Mercuria. It smells like it, like a mix between fresh flowers and cow dung. There's some kind of part going on in there. Oh boy, let's go to the party in our underwear. Darkness. Hello, darkness, nah. my old friend. I'm not about to walk around in a strange city in the middle of the night wearing nothing but this it's their first date i can tell they're a cute couple i wonder if romance is different here or if the rituals are the same as back home i mean magic must play some part in it some sort of dancing going on over there they're definitely having fun that looks like a really, really comfortable chair. Assorted bottles, herbs, and spices. Open fires are so enchanting, romantic, and inspiring. They don't look so different from farmers and craftsmen back home. It's a small world. Worlds, small worlds. Honest working men out for a pint or two. She looks like she works here. 
Excuse me. Hello? Hi, hello, do you work here? Do I work here? Child, I'm the owner. I own and operate the Journeyman Inn. Oh, I didn't know. Of course you did not, child, but be careful. Others may not be as quick to forgive as I am when you address them disrespectfully. Yeah, the, the Journeyman Inn, huh? Sounds like a pretty big project you're taking on. Also, I feel like I've gone back in time. Is there a party going on? Is there a... Oh, my There's child. a party going on. Do you um, not know? It is the Feast of the Balance. Have you never taken part in the celebration? Unfortunately, no. I'm... Not a party person. For as long as I can recall, the feast has lasted three whole days and nights, and everyone celebrated openly. But now, this year, there is great concern about the Vanguard and their supporters. So this year, the Feast of the Balance is celebrated inside, behind closed doors and for one night only. But there's still much food and drink. <laughs> And you are welcome to join, if you so please. I don't think so. I don't know anybody here. You're not with the Vanguard, are you? No, I'm from... somewhere else. Far away. So it would seem. Well, if you feel up to it, child, you're welcome to join in the celebration. Thanks. Yeah, that, that question had, uh, had big time, you're not a cop, are you, vibes? <laughs> What's your name? Benrima Selman. I am the owner and proprietor of this inn. I bought it with money earned through honest trade in the Southlands. Tobacco, wine, slaves. That is where I'm from. The Southlands. Honest trade, huh? I'm April. April Ryan. Well met, April Ryan. Have you come to meet someone, a handsome young suitor, perchance? No such luck, I'm afraid. I'm here more by accident than anything else. Ah, <laughs> no accident, April. Fate. Fate delivered you here tonight. You are strong in fate, are you not? Tell your John Brown up in this bitch. Why do you celebrate the Feast of the Balance? You are a stranger to our customs, indeed. The balance. You do know about the balance, do you not? Sure. The balance between magic and science. I know about the balance. The balance of all, child. Everything is in balance, and the Guardian watches over the balance and us. We celebrate the Feast of the Balance to give our thanks to the balance and to the Guardian. If our devotion to the balance falters, if we lose our faith in the Guardian, then we are inviting chaos to destroy us. This is what the Vanguard is doing. Inviting chaos. They are dangerous. Although by the end of the night, everyone is drunk off their asses and have lost their balance. What's the Vanguard doing to destroy the balance? They are not doing anything to destroy the balance, but they destroy people's faith in the balance. They speak to the people, telling them how the Sentinel, the Fathers, are holding our world back. And that if we were to use the balance to our advantage, we could return to the old ways, the ways of the ancient Earth, before the Divide. Vanguard promised the people power and wealth and happiness, but they intend only destruction, death. What do you mean by strong in fate? You shape your own fate, and not the other way around. You are what the dark people call a wave. How can you tell? I am not only an innkeeper, child. I am a seer taught by my mother, who was taught by her mother before her. And so it goes back to the dawn of our world, to the dawn of magic. 
I mean, that's that's the impression that I'm getting, Mazzy. What's a seer? A seer? Who is someone who can tell something about people? About events? About the past and the present and the future? Just by looking at you. When I look at you, I see... I see... What? What do you see? Most people are drawn along by events. By fate. Like a carriage after a horse. But some people know how to steer the horse. To change paths at will. You are such a person. But there is more. Tell me more about my future. It is strange. I, I see many paths, but they are all dark. I cannot tell much except that you are strong in fate and strong in the balance. It's very and You are strong in magic, too. Magic? That can't be right. I'm not... I don't know anything about magic. You do not have to know about magic to be strong with magic. If you ever learn how to harvest your talents, you will be a strong artisan. Artisan? Where have you been schooled, child? Have you forgotten your lore? My lore? Yeah, well, I haven't really had much use for my... lore lately. The Artisan is the most powerful of magic users. She is able to shape magic and to use it by force of will alone. An artist can use magic shaped by others, molded into new magic, new art. A magician, or sorcerer, witch, warlock, can read and write incantations, drawing spells from the power of words. And the alchemist, can create magic potions. He is the least of the four. Anyone with proper education can be an alchemist. The other three require some form of talent for magic. Thank you. I am at your service any time, child. I am afraid I must go take care of my guests now. Enjoy yourself. Okay, well that was, uh... Potentially enlightening. Um, so we're strong in magic. So how do I magic? Assorted bottles, herbs, and spices. Oh, for a muse of fire that would ascend the brightest heaven of invention! Shakespeare, I believe. If I'm to find my muse, I guess it will have to be here in Arcadia. Press X to shine. Okay. Tildy. Um, I don't think it's accepting my, my, uh, It's my a magnetized input. screwdriver. Magnetized, huh? I'm sure that will be useful for something. Seeing as I don't know the city and I'm dressed in my underwear, I'd really feel better staying inside until tomorrow morning, if they let me. It's a very comfortable chair. Okay, so if we're not going outside, then uh, we're going to need to find a way to, like, stay overnight. What a strange creature. Thank you, April Ryan. Wait, what? What? There is no time here, but there soon will be time for you and I. Time enough to be sure. You are speaking to me, April Ryan. We have spoken. I don't understand what you're... And how do you know my name? Who are you? Have we not met yet? 
I was sorry then for confusing you. I will be Abnaxus of the Venar, ambassador to the Irede Council in Marcuria for a time. I think I would have remembered you if we'd met. Who told you my name? You did. You are saying your name to me, April Ryan. In this moment, you tell me your name. You question why I know your name, and you speak to me the blessings of the balance for my long journey home. Sorry, I really don't know what you're talking about. It is difficult for us too, April Ryan, to understand you. We, the Venar, are not perceiving time like your people. In this moment, we are everywhere. In this moment, we are nowhere. But there is a veil. Beyond this veil, we are not seeing, but you have. You will be seeing. You are seeing. What veil? The veil created in chaos, by chaos, with chaos. It is a dark presence in our Future, yes, future. A dark veil which hides the things that have been and will be. What's all this got to do with me? It was late. You were tired. We have talked in the morning when you come to visit me. Now you understand everything. Thank you, April Ryan. The blessings of the balance to you too. Did you just invite me to your home? I will. I did. I invite you to my home, April Ryan. My home was in the Marcuria City Green, and you will find it. In the morning, before chaos came. I am explaining everything, and you understood. It seems I've already accepted your invitation, so I guess I don't have a choice. That is what you said. Good night. You will sleep well. I am Torgo. I take care of the place while the master is away. Um... Yeah, that was, um... I really am getting tired. I should find somewhere comfortable to sit down, rest my legs for a few minutes. Well, there's a chair over here. And she passes right the hell out. Oh, it looks like uh, Carlos is having a time. Wake up, child. <sighs> Sorry, I guess I fell asleep. What time is it? It is morning. We need to clean before we open for breakfast, so I had to wake you. I slept right through the party? It seems so. You did not stir even when everyone was leaving. Oh well, I feel pretty good considering. You look a little pale, but it's nothing a good porridge won't fix. Some a little subversion of uh, of the usual zero lore. Wake up and put your damn pants on. Not to sound rude, but I've had my fill of her for the moment. I 
I do hope that you're feeling better, by the way, Zero. I know you weren't feeling great last week. The back rooms are both empty. Better, yes. Still sick, yes. Nothing Damn. but ashes left of the fire now. Assorted bottles and spices and herbs. They look empty, and after last night's shindig, that's no wonder. It's the innkeeper. She looks busy. Well, I don't think there's anything else to interact with It was here. pretty comfy to sleep in. I'm a little stiff, but that's only to be expected, I guess. Ah, so you did get tested. All right. Good to know it's not that. Do you intend to walk about in that outfit, child? It is day, it would not be proper. It's all I have. Come, we will find something more suited to a young lady about the city. I mean, it might be proper depending on what you're looking for. How do I look? Well, it'll have to do for now. You yes, do not have the most womanly of forms, but I'm certain you will fill out in time with the right diet. Thanks. Thank you for the clothes, for everything. You will have time aplenty to thank me while you are cleaning plates and cutlery, child. I'm sorry. Work? Those clothes do not come free, child, nor does a night spent sleeping before the fire. I'm not asking much, only for a helping hand in cleaning. You're too skinny. Eat, eat. Well, I suppose we should probably do right by her. All right. Tell me where to start. You can start carrying in the mugs from the back room. Okay, so it's not going to make us do the chores. You did good work for me today, child. More than was required. Here you are. Some coin to help you out. And keep the clothes. You seem to have grown into them already. I was hoping you were going to let me keep the clothes. Excuse me? Yes. Oh. It is you. Thank you, ma'am. You're welcome, child. Good talk. Yeah, this seems a lot more populated than it did last night. I wonder if she's caught anything today. Square jaw and broad shoulders. A real farm boy. Quite a sexy one, too. That's a funny looking animal. Let's go touch it without knowing what it is. Good beast. His hide feels like a turtle's, but softer. Yeah, yeah good man. boy. Good boy. Oh, maybe we made a friend today. It's a small wagon pulled by one of those strange beasts. Uh, is there anything else? I hope not. Let's go into the city. Anyway, let's go and talk to the Time Lord. Here? Well, we haven't been here, so probably. I saw something. It's there. a flower bed. There's plenty of room for more seeds to be planted in there. 
That's one mother of a plant. I wonder if it's a carnivore. It looks to have been carved out of a large tree, but the texture of the house is more stone than bark. It's a solid oak door. Doing the spinning. Enter, honored guest. And I would have been with you presently. I think the thing to do here is to just ignore the tense that he's using because, like, otherwise, what the crap. Some of them look to be in English, but I know they're not. It's the Alton language Tobias told me about. The tongue of magic. Sounds a little disgusting, to be honest. Hello. It's quite the handy. Be welcomed, there. stranger, to my abode. Stranger? Don't you remember me? You invited me here. Every moment we meet, and every moment we part. You are both stranger and friend, April Ryan. I'm sorry, but could you try to be a little less obtuse this time? I have a hard time understanding half of what you say. I will beg for your forgiveness, April Ryan. I had a hard time to make myself understood amongst other peoples. I will pull myself into this moment, difficult as it may be, so that we can communicate and so that you may understand. It is important that you understand, April Ryan, very important. Who are you? I am Abnaxus of the Venar, ambassador to the I Reed Council in Mercuria. My people live far from here, and they do rarely visit your kind, and so I am their sole link to humans and Domari. Why is that? I alone among the Venar am able to focus on a particular moment and thread in time, and so to speak with those who flow with time, like you. Very important, Mr. Freeman. But then it turns out he's a headcrab zombie. How do your people perceive time? It is hard to explain any moment before this moment and any moment after is the same to me as this one i have lived already and i am yet to live do you understand me i think so but how's that possible everything is possible april ryan there is magic and there is science and between the two Everything is possible. It has happened before, it is happening now, and it will surely happen again. Can you see the future? To me, every moment is the same. There is no future. I can relate moments you have yet to see, and I can unravel possible threads. But remember, the future I see may not be the one into which you walk. Moments and threads fluctuate, change. I can remember things that have never come to pass, and I have seen things that will never be. So you can't tell the future? I would see your possible futures, the likely threads among hundreds. If there was not a veil in time, I would. Yeah, this is starting to sound like like a zero escape, right? What's this veil you keep talking about? Somewhere ahead, in our path, 
There is a dark veil through which I cannot pass, past which I cannot see. It is disconcerting to me to be blocked from the moments of my life. How did this veil come to be? It was, no, will be created in chaos, by chaos, to keep the future hidden. All threads converge on a single point here, beyond the veil, and this will happen only once it is written. Written? Where? In the prophecies. Tell me about the prophecies. Words have been written by seers who can discern from all possible threads the threads that are certain to be woven. These words are the prophecies. And what do the prophecies say? Prophecies speak of a time when the balance will falter, weakened by the assault of chaos and its servants. The moment the veil falls is the moment of uncertainty. The balance may stand, the balance may fall. I cannot tell which it will be, and I cannot even see the possibilities, the threads extending from each fork. But the prophecies also speak of a savior, as the prophecies usually do, one who will bring order to chaos, only to release chaos on the innocent, one who will restore the balance, only to finally break it. That doesn't sound like a savior. The word in my tongue is kanang la. Literally translated, it means the small seed who grew to a tall tree. Can I ask you a few questions? Yes. Could you tell me a little bit about yourself, Obnaxus? Me? About myself? We, the Venar, are not good at speaking of ourselves. We always know who we are, and so we have no need to tell each other. Well, are you married? Do you have kids? Or perhaps your people don't marry? Yes, we do marry, and we always know who we are to be with because our future is also our past, and so we also know our children even though, according to your reckoning, they have yet to be born. My wife was, is, will be, the beautiful Abyanda. She lives by the Bay of Fire in the east. She gave birth to our three female children, Abratha, Abalexa, Ab Palmana. How long has it been since you last saw them? I see them now, April Ryan. Do not forget I perceive time in a different manner from your kind. I have given them your regards. Well, uh, say hi to them for me. Didn't you just say that he just did? Anyway, um, that's that's a cool story, obnoxious. Uh, tell me about tell me more about this uh, this future that was manufactured by Sears. Why did you come here to Mercuria? I was chosen to be ambassador to Ired when I showed a talent for seeing the flow of time from one point to the next. I was trained for a long time in locking myself into a single moment to communicate and understand your world. My people do not normally involve themselves with others, but the Veil has forced us to do so. Why don't the Venar want to involve themselves with humans? In the wrong hands, our knowledge is dangerous. To know of the possible fluctuating futures, this can be a weapon to some who flow with time. We cannot interfere with your time. We are not allowed. Who says? The balance. The guardian. 
The Guardian watches not only the balance between worlds, but also the balance within. Time is in balance, and if this balance is upset, the Guardian would know. I thought the Guardian was gone. So he is, and that makes it even more crucial to my people that we preserve the balance and not upset it. Chaos is our enemy, April Ryan, and we do our part to keep it at bay, as do you. Also, I totally noticed that it, it there in, in the text, as well as well as Mazzy talking about Naxxramas. Are you planning on ever going back to your people? When we pass through the veil to the other side and time yet again opens up, I will return to my people. I look forward to that day. I miss my people, and it is hard to speak with your kind. It makes me tired. I know what you mean. I'm a stranger here, too. You will bring us through the veil, April Ryan, and then we can both leave this place and go home. Where is your home, Abnaxus? Across the border mountains and north, to where the forests are evergreen, and where in winter the land turns white. Do you know Father Tobias? Tobias is a faithful servant of the balance, and he is a good man. He leads the sentinel down a narrow path, but he never wavers. We are friends. So, I can trust him? Trust is a concept which often puzzles me. Amongst my people there is never distrust. We always know the truth. But amongst your people, amongst those who flow with time, trust is important, a fragile thing. But yes, yes, I do think Tobias is to be trusted fully. I cannot see beyond the veil, but up to that point there is no thread in which he betrays your trust, April Ryan. Have you heard of a man named Cortez? No, I have not. But that does not mean I do not know him. Names are often fleeting, April Ryan. He's my... well, some have called him my mentor, others a nutcase. I'm not sure which it is, but I'm leaning towards the former. Your mentor? He is a shifter as well? No, I don't think so. He doesn't travel. Shift between Stark and Arcadia. I do not see him in my life, April Ryan. I do not know him. Beyond the veil, perhaps, but not before. Thanks, Abnaxus. You are always welcome, April Ryan. I need some help in my quest. Yes, you did. I did? And what did you answer? That I will help you as much as I can, but in the end... I'm on my own. I've heard that one before. What do you know about dragons? I do not know much about the kin, but I do know a little. Perhaps it will help you, perhaps not. The Dryak kin came to this world a very, very long time ago, before the dawn of man, before the divide. The Venar had yet to learn to be outside time, and there were few other peoples on Earth. The kin played an important part in the divide, in separating magic from science, and in the founding of the fathers, the sentinel, to watch over the balance. It is said that after the divide of the four dry kin that came to Earth, two went to Stark, and two to Arcadia. But that was a long time ago, twelve thousand of your years. I do not know what has become of them since. You don't know where I may find these dry kin? No, the white of the dry kin, the mother, has, according to legend, been sighted. 
The tale of the silver spear of Goriman speaks of the mother and her child. Though I think this is but a tale, and far from the truth. The story is called The Silver Spear of Goriman? Yes, unfortunately I do not have this book myself, and I do not know of anyone who does. What about the other dragon, the other Dryak kin? Of the Dryak kin, I only know of the mother, the white of the kin, although I have heard tell of a god who fell from the sky into the ocean a great long time ago, but this may also be just a tale. What else do you know about this god who fell from the sky? Only what I have told you. Someone with greater knowledge of the ocean and the creatures that live beneath its surface may be able to tell you more. Have you heard of a disk that works as a key to the Guardian's realm? Yes, but very little. It has been spoken of in the I Read Council only recently, brought to attention by the Tyran Ambassador. He wished to know where it is kept. And what was the answer? No one at the council knows or admitted to knowing, and the ambassador was asked to speak with the sentinel, which he is unlikely to concede to. The tyrant are allied with the vanguard, and so are in political and ideological opposition with the sentinel. I know Vestrum Tobias. He would not speak a word with the Tyran, nor the vanguard. Not unless it was to challenge their philosophies. So you don't know where I can find the disc? No. Ask Vestrum Tobias. Do you know anything about a rift leading to the Guardian's realm? I have heard speak of such a thing. I believe it was where the tower was built and the divide created. When the earth was one, it might still be open. Any idea where it is? I am afraid the Venar were never very involved in the affairs of the Sentinel, nor took any part in the divide except to agree to the necessity of it. We had little choice but to concede. We are a magical people. We need the balance, because we would not, could not, survive without magic. How would I go about fighting chaos? You cannot fight chaos. It is not so simple. To oppose chaos, one must return order to that which has been affected by chaos, and thus reduce its powers. But this is not something everyone can do. Only those ordained by the balance can embark on such a dangerous task and survive. That's about it for now. I am glad I could be of assistance, April Ryan. Thanks for your hospitality, Obnaxus. Goodbye. Blessings of the balance to you, April Ryan. And may your journey have been a long and fruitful one. So that was a lot of information just now. I wish I could have been sitting the for uh, for all of that uh, exposition. It's a nicely crafted bench. Also, this is a very tiny house. So I didn't really retain a whole lot of that, to be honest, except for go talk to Vestrum Tobias, so um, I guess let's go do that.
Actually, I wonder. I realize that we're kind of a day late at this point. We're probably fired. But what happens if I do this? Hey, you! What's going on? Why didn't you deliver any maps yesterday? I wasn't around. Sorry. Well, there are more maps to be delivered, and my customers are getting very impatient. Did you deliver the map to the rolling man? Yes, sir. All right, let me see his signature, and I'll give you your next delivery. Here's your next delivery, a map of the Northlands to a ton Lyak staying at the Journeyman Inn. And be quick about it. She's been waiting since the day before yesterday. I'm surprised we're not fired. I got a whole handful of these Arcadian Iron Coins. Arcadian Iron Coins, huh? Actually, before I do that... Here's my coin. Now, how do I play? I place one cup on top of your coin, like so. Then, I shuffle them, like so. Now, you guess which cup hides your coin. If you get it right, you win another coin. Three in a row, and you win a prize. All right, one, two, or three. Left, middle, or right. Zero says three. I realize this is probably rigged and we're not going to actually win three times in a row, but let's give it a try. The jewel, are you are you agreeing with three? Is that what yes means? Okay, Jewel is not voting, apparently. Uh, anyone else? One, two, or three? You have an epic idea? Knock all three cups over at once. Winner! Sure, sure, Jewel. We're probably going to go with three, but unlo unless you have a better idea. Oh! Actually, <laughs> I kind of... I kind of had that idea. Like, you mentioned you had an idea, it's like you beamed it into my head before actually speaking it in chat. Nothing happened. Hey, that cup moved! It's this one, for sure. Uh, that's... that's correct, but that's... You used magic, didn't you? You used your magic wand! Nah! Your amulet didn't light up, did it? No, but... But... It's impossible! Because you use magic yourself? Because nobody's supposed to ever win your game? They have a name for people like you, sir. Con artist. What? I'm outraged! I'm... I'm... Outraged! Yeah, you what? said that the ever. first time. I want my prize. Prize? You don't get a prize for winning once. Especially when you're cheating, you cheat. You want me to call the city guard? I demand a prize. Oh, by the gods of gambling. Here, take this and leave me be.
A calculator? Where did you get this? Oh, I don't know. Wanted off some guy who got it from someone else who's supposedly been in stock. It's a worth... I mean, it's a valuable souvenir from the mysterious and elusive world of logic. Now, would you please let me be? Let someone else play. Yes? Well, if I want the bird. I'm not talking to you, you cheat! It's a cups game. Well, apparently we're not getting the bird. But at least we uh, we managed to find a way to win for sure. Oh right, let's let's go talk to Vestrum before uh, before we deliver that map. Good morning, Tobias. Why, it's April, my friend from Stark. Have you come to visit us again? So it appears. I didn't exactly come here by choice this time, though. Oh? How so, if I may ask? In a weird and twisted way, it's nothing out of what's become the substitute for ordinary in my life. One second I was in my room in Newport, the next I was in a dark alley in Mercuria. You must have opened a shift while you were sleeping. Good. This means you are learning to harness your magic. Is she? Yeah, I guess, except I don't think I'll be able to get back home again. And this time, my mentor, Cortez, has no idea that I'm here. Ah, but I'm sure you will find a way to channel and control your power soon. In the meantime, is there anything I can do to help? I need to locate the disk that unlocks the Guardian's tower. The disk that is the key? Yes, it is needed. It might even restore balance, provided the new guardian accompanies it to the tower, of course. But you wish to find the disc yourself? I have to. Cliché or not, it's our only hope. You uh, do this often, then? You know, save worlds? It's an expression. Heroism in my world is more of a cliché than anything else. I do not understand. But then, I am merely a servant of the balance, while you are... more. But yes, the disk. As I told you once before, when the Earth was divided, and the realm of the Guardian created, a disk was forged in the Well of Making. The disk was to serve two purposes, as a key to the Tower of Balance should it become necessary to enter it in the Guardian's absence. And as a replacement for the disk that is already in the tower, should it be broken. The tower is now abandoned and locked, and the old disk shattered. I do think the time is right for the second disk to be brought forward and used. Where is the disk now? At first, more than 12,000 years ago, it was kept in the open, at the Sentinel Enclave outside Mercuria. However, when thieves attempted to make away with a disc, it was taken away. Why? So that the four parts of the disc could be divided amongst four of the magical people of Arcadia. People who would have nothing to gain from the balance being compromised. What people were the disc divided amongst? This I cannot tell you. I am not sure anyone remembers now. But it would be in the scriptures, I am certain. What scriptures? The scriptures of the balance. There are thirteen of them. Thirteen is a strong number, rich in tradition, and... Did you know the Irede High Council consists of thirteen ministers? No, of course you don't. Thirteen was also the number of the fathers who begat the Sentinel, and who built the Tower of Balance. 
You know, I keep comparing you to the uh, Asians. There are also 13 people in the, you know, the High Council of Asians. Well, technically 14, but that's an entire story upon itself. Where can I find the scriptures of the balance? Pay a visit to the Sentinel Enclave, located outside the city to the east. The Great Library of the Enclave contains every book ever written by an Arcadian Minstrom, and most others as well. Speak with Minstrom Yerin, the keeper of books. Tell him I sent you. I need to find the entrance to the Guardian's realm. There is one. You are right in that, but where I would not venture to guess. In the past, when the time came for the Guardian to step down and another to take his or her place, the Guardian opened a gateway wherever it was needed. A Guardian, still in full control of the balance, can invite anyone in and let anyone out. But with the Guardian gone, the only way in would be the point where the Divide was first created, where the tower was built. Isn't that location written down somewhere? Remember that this was done on the old Earth before the Divide. After the Divide, after the creation of Stark and Arcadia, places were shifted about. This entrance may not even be on the ground anymore. What do you mean? It could be up there, in the sky, or far below us, through the crust of the Earth into the molten depths below. I cannot say. And I do not know anyone who could. Isn't there any way to locate the entrance to the Guardian's realm? Perhaps with careful investigation of the old texts, histories of Arcadia, of the Divide, the scriptures. I do not know, April, but it cannot hurt to look. Again, you will find these texts at the Sentinel Enclave. Speak with Minstrom Yerin. I need to locate the two dragons that reside in Arcadia. The Drykin? What's the difference? Dragons is a word from your world. The kin are not what they have become in your legends and fairy tales. But they're real, aren't they? Oh, as real as you and me, April. And old. They have been here since before our time. As you probably remember, the kin were instrumental in the Divide, saving mankind from a terrible end. But I know so little. Only what I can remember from my studies when I was a minstrel at the Enclave. How can I get more information on the Drat kin? Books, daughter, books. The wisdom of the ages. There is one tome you should study, called The Secrets of the Dry Kin, by Minstrom Elniak. It is old but informative, and it captures the imagination. Where can I find this book? Again, you will find these texts at the Sentinel Enclave. Speak with Minstrom Yerin. Gee, I wonder where all the books are. Um... I need help getting back home. Unfortunately, I'm in no better state today to help you shift than I was the day before yesterday. You are the one with the talent, and so you must learn to use that talent. Oh no, they're old enough that they become boomers. Thank you, Tobias. Good to know I could help you, April. And <laughs> just immediately snaps back into place. Is there any reason to come back here?
today is the day, my oldest daughter's wedding. Okay, so that was a lot of information once again, which pretty much pretty much amounts to all of the information is at the Sentinel Enclave, and also we have a map to deliver. Excuse me? Yes? Oh, it is you. I mean, that, that is entirely likely, Jewel. I'm looking for a guest of yours, Tun Lyak. The sailor? She is looking for work today, I'm afraid. With most of the ships moored to the docks for balance knows how long, it is difficult for sailors to find work. Do you know when Tun Lyak is expected back? I could not tell you, child, but from what I know of the ships in harbor, she will not find one that needs a navigator any time soon. Thank you, ma'am. You're welcome, child. I mean, from the sound of it, it she's just at the docks right now. There's young Clave over there. Who the deuce are you? Okay, so maybe she's not here. Strangely enough, it's an old-fashioned calculator, like the ones they used back in, like, the Elizabethan times. I don't know that they had calculators in Eliz Elizabethan, unless you mean, like, Elizabeth II. Here, instrument merchant, y you want my calculator? It's musical, I swear. No. I'm not in the market for an instrument at this particular moment. I don't know if West House needs a calculator. No. Hi there, Mr. West House. I'm back. My word. What on earth possessed you to return to this godforsaken place? You were lucky to escape the first time, but now you're really pushing it. It's not that bad a place, or else you wouldn't stay here. Besides, this time I didn't exactly come here by choice. I stay here because I'm a true masochist, Miss Ryan. And who forced you to come? Was it Cortez? He doesn't even know I'm here, unfortunately. No, I think I had some kind of accident with my so-called powers. I shifted in my underwear. No, ha! Huh? <laughs> it isn't that the way it is, though. We always cross the rift at the most inopportune times. <laughs> Care for a drink? Oh, uh, no, no, that's right. You, uh, don't. <laughs> Would you mind helping me with a few questions? I have nothing better to do, so shoot. Do you know anything about dragons? I try to stay out of the affairs of the kin these days. What precisely do you wish to know about the damn beasts? There are two dragons in Arcadia, and I'm trying to locate them. Yeah, I've heard that tale myself. But no, no, I don't know anything about it. You'd be better off speaking with the Sentinel Minstrom. 
After all, religion is their specialty, not mine. Did you ever hear a story about a god who fell from the sky? Stories aren't my thing, April. You should visit a library. I'm sure you'll find some stories in the books. I know the Sentinel have a library somewhere near the city. I've also heard rumor of a people with wings who do nothing but observe and record history through stories. But I don't know if that's all it is. A rumor. Still, if you're looking for stories, it may be wise to check it out and see if you can find them. Hydration achieved. I'm looking for a disc that will open up the Guardian's realm. That's religion, Miss Ryan. <clears throat> and the only things I worship are whiskey, a good cigar, and a nice long... <clears throat> No. Anyway, don't ask me about all that uh, balance mumbo jumbo. Would you be able to tell me where I could look for the entrance to the Guardian's realm? In Tobias's pants, <laughs> if he had his wish, I'm sure. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I, I, I don't know anything about the Guardians, balance, or sentinel, or gardening. <laughs> Now, if you're interested in bullfighting, I could talk all night. Bullfighting's a horrible act of cruelty to animals, and not much of a sport at all. I'll just forget you said that, Miss Ryan. If there's one thing I miss about Stark, it's bullfighting. You'll be happy to hear, then, that they abolished bullfighting hundreds of years ago. Damn. Yeah, most of the time he, th this guy is kind of like the, the, the grumpy old man who at least tries to be friendly and then he talks about bullfighting. I can't think of any more questions for now. Then let's talk about other things, shall we? Thanks, Mr. Westhouse. Anytime, April. Come back if you're homesick and you feel like talking to a fellow alien. It's disabled. Why would it be disabled? I, um... I do not have an explanation for that one. It's not showing cooldowns on the phone app. Well, that's a Twitch problem, not mine. Anyway, oh. yeah. also interesting that you decided to make that an important message. Shouting, ah. So the, this old man doesn't know much of anything about what we need to know about. And does not seem to be interested in our calculator. Um, I guess there's not really any uh, delaying it. Let's just go to the Enclave. Some kind of sandstone, very malleable, but also very vulnerable to the elements. These cliffs probably have huge, naturally formed caves and tunnels. <laughs> this old man, he played one, he played knick-knack on what now? It's a stone dragon gazing down into the center of the dome like it's guarding the entrance. It's a magnificent piece of work. Same as you, April. Same as you. Also, we found one of the dragons, I guess. The dragon's mouth is pointing straight down at the middle of the floor. 
It's a circular hollow about 20 centimeters across and about 5 centimeters deep. It's a small recess about the size of my fist with a thin duct extending from the recess to the circular hollow in the middle of the floor. There are three others just like it, arranged with equal distance to each other in a circle and all connected via a duct to the center of the floor. So what I'm getting from this is it's a puzzle. Anyway, here's some books and also this guy. Also, this area is important enough to have music in it, apparently. It's a rusty wheel. I guess I probably can't move it. It's stuck. It's one of the Sentinel Minstrom. Goodness me, I didn't hear you come in. We're a bit close uh, By here. the way, you haven't seen volume six of the complete annotated history of the Northlands, have you? I, I could have sworn it was here yesterday. Sorry, no. I guess someone else must have taken it. <clears throat> I try to tell them to write down what they borrow on the list, but they never listen. Only last week, I spent three hours searching the entire enclave for the second scripture of the balance, the scripture of song, before I realized that Vestrum Tobias was studying it back in the city. Now, such incidents could be avoided if only, and uh, this applies to you too, young lady, people would sign out the books they borrow when they borrow them and sign them back in when they're done. Such a simple procedure. It shouldn't take more than a few seconds to jot down your name and the name of the book you borrow. It makes my job so much easier. Uh, now, which book did you want me to find for you? So what I got from this is, you're patchouli and this is your library. Marissa comes here all the time and checks out books without telling anyone. Are you Minstrom Yaren? Yes, of course. What a silly question. How would I know? I don't know you. I am Minstrom Yaren, keeper of the great library of Mercuria. In fact, this is the greatest library of all the Northlands. Perhaps of the entire world. Although they say the Dark People have a library as big if not bigger than this one. Uh, but of course, we're not allowed anywhere near there. Have you been there? I don't think... What a silly question. Of course you haven't. You're not of the dark people, are you? You don't look like any dark people I've ever seen, so I can't see how you could possibly... <sighs> now, where did Volume 6 disappear to, hmm? That this isn't going to end up as some, like, racist allegory, is it? I certainly hope not. Tobias said I should talk with you. Tobias? Uh, Vestrum Tobias? I haven't seen him for... Well, he was in last week, but before that it must have been uh, days at least. How is he? Is still eating enough for two mules? I must tell you of this funny story I heard the other day, of how Vestrum Tobias eats enough for a table full of Minstrum. Uh, or was it one Elguan? Although the Elguan don't, as a rule, eat very much at all. Did you know that the Elguan can smell water more than half a day's journey away? Amazing, amazing creatures, perfectly suited for life in the desert. The balance provides, uh, that's for certain. The balance provides.
I, I feel like I, I'm just I'm just thinking of uh, of a joke about ADHD people, which more or less goes like normal people say one sheep, two sheep, three sheep, four sheep, and the ADHD person says one sheep, two sheep, cow, turtle, duck. Oh, McDonald had a farm. Hey, Macarena. Vestrum Tobias recommended that I look at some books. Uh, books is what we do best here at the Enclave. That is for certain. Which book would you like to see? Oh, boy. There, there are so many books that we need. I'm looking for a story called The Silver Spear of Goriman. Yes, a fanciful tale if I ever saw one, but a charming one. Did you know that I'm often paid visit by adventurers wishing to read everything available on the spear so that they too could set out on their foolish quests? Yeah, don't you just hate those adventurers? Well, they pay for my bread, milk, and butter with their contributions to the coffers, so I shouldn't be too critical of them. Uh, but they care not about the books. They care only about what the books can give them. I care. About the books, really. I can tell. So, the Silver Spear of Gurimon, then? You going? Very slowly. Kind of wish I, that I was able to actually like go over there and follow him so this could go a little faster, but uh, no, we're, we're just going to be shambling. I did find something of interest. I'll leave it here for you to read. I mean, you're probably right about that, Jewel. Oh boy, all right. Um, how many pages are there? Oh boy. You know what? I would totally read this, except that uh, we're a little too close to the end of stream for that. Are you done? Let me take that oh, back geez. for you. Next stream, reading stream, quite possibly, yeah. Wait, why are you putting it back in a different place than you picked it up? Like, if I ask for that book again, are you going to pick it up from over there? Any dang way. Um... Yeah, I think that is, uh, remember what you said about ADHD. <laughs> yeah, you're not wrong. Anyway, uh, I'm going to call it there a little bit early, but uh, we have a lot of reading to do next time, apparently, so we're going to be doing that. Um, so yeah, thank you all for watching. Thank you to uh, Alex, Zero, Jewel, Foose, Mazzy. Edge was here? When did Edge show up? I did not see Edge. But, um... My, uh... My little applet here seems to believe that Edge was here, so... Hi, Edge! I'm sorry I missed you. Also, thanks for the, um... Two gift subs, Mazzy, to Madison, and Jay Spatz. Um, so yeah, the next scheduled stream is going to be tomorrow at 6 p.m. Atlantic Daylight Time. It is going to be uh, my first match in the Time Spinner Randomizer Tournament against James KT, which I have just learned is going to be on Speed Gaming 3. So that is twitch.tv slash speedgaming3 at uh, 6 p.m. I'm also, of course, going to be uh, broadcasting my side of the match on this channel, but I strongly recommend checking out Speed Gaming 3 for all of the coverage. 
Uh, the next stream after that is going to be on Sunday at 8 p.m. or later, Atlantic Daylight Time. It is the Sunday Super Shuffle. We're going to do our Arc Belgo shenanigans. And that takes us around the week, around the wheel, to our next long run stream. We're going to continue our run of the longest journey and probably do a whole lot of greeting. So thank you all for hanging out. I'm Coolio, if you don't know. And I'll see you guys next time.